This is how yellow admin panel looks like. So this is the menu of yellow panel. You can add the merchants here. We have few merchants already added in our panel. So here from here, you can add a new merchant. You can just simply fill in the details, select the logo, logo image, select the banner image and then save and proceed further. An account will be created like this. You will have all the details of your merchant here. In case you want to edit the details, you can go here and edit the details. To add the catalogs for a particular merchant, you can go here. On clicking on to the catalog, you will have the option to add the catalog add the category so if you click on the plus button you will be able to add a category you can add the description in case you want and then also you can add the image so to add a product in a particular category you need to go on add product and then select the product You can add the description in if required and select the price. Also you can add the image over here. In case you add, want to add more product, you can click here and add. So this is how you can add the next product. Similarly, you can go on adding more products in the same category as per your requirements. This is how we can see the products. This is how you will be able to see the details of the product. In case you want to add the variant, you can add it from here. In case, if you add the variants, and go to next you'll be able to put the price of the variant here and it would add up here also you can upload the data for the catalog here you simply have to go here click here and download a sample file wherein without changing the field name you can put up all the data you want in your catalog and upload Simply drag, drop and upload. You will have the complete catalog available here after uploading the file. If we go to the settings, first option is the account. You can see your own account. You can do the changes in your account. In case you want to change the currency, you can change your currency here and update. For orders as in the beginning in the first page itself you were able to see the orders you can select if you want to accept or reject the order and in case you want all the orders coming onto your website to be accepted you can turn it off you can choose the workflow you can go with the GDPR right you can submit this preferences you can schedule how you want your delivery options to be you can go with both on demand and scheduling or you can just choose one as per your requirements. Going on to the time slot intervals. So if you are going with the scheduling part, you will obviously have to choose a time slot and you will obviously have to enter the dates. You can select the dates and time slot from here. You can add more from here. You can delete a time slot and date slot from here. So if First time slot is 9 a.m. in the morning and if you want to keep a difference of two hours for the next time slot, you can change it here. Mm -hmm. 
down here you can add the minimum amount for orders you can show the inventory to your customers in case you don't want to show you can simply turn it off here are the features available in workflow you can enable and disable the features available as per your business requirements going on to notifications you can see the number of notifications available which would be which would be passed on to your customers when they place the order then we'll go to promotions here you can add the referral code or promotional offers integration part in case you want to integrate your yellow model with token you can simply switch on this toggle and your account will be integrated with your token account in case you want to have hippo chat integrated into your yellow account you can simply switch on the toggle and your hippo chat would be integrated with your yellow account next is applications so in case you want to have a sign up template in your customer facing application you can simply turn this on and you can add the desired fields you can also have the OTP verifications available for your customer facing application in case you want to add additional charges for a particular delivery we will simply name it as delivery charges you can add it here also you can tip the driver who is bringing up the orders you can enable it from here you will also be able to add the taxes you can name the tax and you can add the tax. If you want your customers to log in through their Facebook ID, you can simply turn a toggle on and coming on to customers, you will have the complete data of customers who have ordered through your website here. You can choose the layout for your marketplace from here. You can change the colors. You can change the tagline. And you can simply save it. We are also giving an option to change the languages. You can change the name of the terminologies. An update. These all changes are happening in your customer facing website. So here is where you can actually see all the invoices generated till date. Whenever your customer will place an order, you will receive a notification. You can go and check on the orders page. This is the order page. You have the pending orders. You have the dispatched orders, completed orders, cancelled orders. So right now the order acceptance and rejection was turned off. In case we turn it on, you can see we have the option to either accept the order or reject the order. This was all about Yellow Marketplace.